All right, today we're gonna to tie a White Widow. It's a trout spay swinging fly. Works great up here in Alaska, but also does really well on the Great Lakes. In the vise, once again, we got a Waddington 25 millimeter shank. For the trailer material, Senyo's Intruder uh, wire in size six or larger, or four size hooks or larger. Owner side drifting hooks, size four. And for the eyes, we're gonna use some uh, bead chain eyes here. These are medium linked eyes. And we're gonna actually use four bead chain eyes. This is kind of a stolen from Greg Senyo, but uh, we're gonna cut these off. And you don't wanna use your good tying scissors for these, but I just did. We'll cut off four bead chain. We'll tie them on the underside of our fly. And we'll Kind of some figure eights and some helicopters. You could use a little glue in this to secure those eyes. I just kind of tie them down nice. And we'll move our thread back. Next material going to be some. UV polar chenille and copper. About three or so turns of this. And we'll move our tying thread forward to where we want to end this. Pull these fibers back as we tie forward. And we'll lock that into position. Trim out the excess. Next material, we're going to use some barred natural uh, mallard flank. Fairly long piece here. We're going to try to get some nice underbody look here. Looks like a pretty nice long one. We'll get a tie-in point here. I like to really lock these tips of the feathers in because I've had them pull out before, so really lock those down. I will fold these fibers back. about two or more, two to three turns of this would be good. And that looks pretty good, so we'll lock that in. And trim off our excess. Next material is gonna be some marabou. What we're gonna save some marabou from a previous fly and I'll show you how we're going to use this. So this is a the butt end of some marabou. It's got a really thick stem that you can't wrap but the bottom of this marabou is really really good so we're going to show you how to tie this into a dubbing loop and salvage some of your marabou. So we'll make our dubbing loop and we'll add our dubbing spinner here keeping our loop open and then you can peel off the bottom of the marabou and kind of get your nice, nicest bunch of marabou all, all in one zone. And what I'm going to do is 
place this side of Marabou into the loop. Try not to move that marabou too much. We'll give it a nice trim here. And then we've got our marabou in there nicely. A little bit too much overhang, so we're going to shorten that up just a little bit. And these extra butts won't matter too much. We'll be able to hide them. We'll pinch and spin and spin that right up nicely and once it's fairly tight none of this should fall out so I'm gonna grab my dubbing brush here and just kinda gently pick those marabou fibers out and you see it's quite a nice chunk of marabou kinda get our fingers wet and Pull this back and wrap it forward. We'll kind of keep fairly tight wraps, but we'll be pulling this back as we wrap forward. And I really love this uh, marabou. It's from a Creative Angler. It's almost like a spay type marabou, so it's real thin barbs. Just makes for great action on your fly. Not a whole lot of density to the middle of the fiber that you'll see in a lot of woolly bugger marabou. So this stuff moves really nice. So we'll get that tied in. We'll tie it off just behind the eyes. And these bead chain eyes, they do a great job of kind of just keeping that fly fairly straight helps it sink a tiny bit just kind of break the surface tension but for me I feel like it helps the fly kind of ride nicely next we're going to use some grizzly kind of a saddle here we're gonna pick out two somewhat identical looking feathers fairly thin feathers here so we're going to pick out two there's one pretty nicely matched and often I'll take one and kind of measure it up I like it to go just a little bit past that marabou maybe half an inch to an inch past that marabou looks really cool and I'll strip that feather where I'm going to tie it off and then I'll match up the two feathers at the tip and then peel off that second feather about where my first feather was peeled off and I like to tie these somewhat on top Almost like using those eyes as a guide. Just kind of tie them right up over the top of those eyes. First one's in. Fairly loose. You want to be able to adjust these a little bit if you have to. Tying in this grizzly hackle it takes a little bit or any of these hackles that you'll want to kind of have draped over the fly. It takes a little bit to kind of perfect this. Even though those stems are fairly small, they're still stiff enough that it can roll those feathers on you. And I'm liking how that's looking. A couple wraps. And then I'll take these stems and actually fold them back and wrap on the other side of them. That helps lock them in pretty nicely. And then I'll trim those off, trying not to cut any of the material I already have in the fly. And a few more security type wraps over the top. Last 
we'll use some Grizzly Soft Tackle. It's kind of like a little Grizzly Marabou. What you want to make sure you do with these is pick out one that has quite a bit of material, but is also stiff. So when you tie it in, it won't snap. And so I've got a fairly good one here. It's got a fairly stiff stem the whole way, but also the marabou part of it's still tieable. And we'll kind of get a good tie-in point here with the tip of the feather. And I'm just going to keep the tip of this feather in, lock it down, and I'm going to move my thread over the top of the eyes there so I went over top of the eyes and wrapped it a little bit forward to about where I'll end this and we can fold this hackle over gently and we'll be folding it back as we go so two or three wraps behind the eyes so there's one two maybe one more and then we'll continue our wrap between the eyes and then a couple wraps forward. So I'll show you that again. So a few wraps behind. I will bring this marabou or grizzly hackle up in between those eyes to the front of the where the head's going to be, front of the fly. And a couple wraps in front of those eyes, pulling this kind of marabou back. Once I've got enough there, I'll just tie it off. Three, four ties will get it nice and secure and then we'll pull everything back. Lock that in. Trim that stem out trying not to clip anything that I've tied in. And then lock it all down. You can tie over the top of the marabou just a little bit or that grizzly, soft grizzly hackle there. I like to wet my fingers and kind of comb that hackle back and build up a little head and lock it down with some whip finishes here, about two whip finishes and then your favorite glue of choice and I'll go ahead and pick this fly out a little bit shouldn't be too much trap material but uh, I like to pick it out a little bit, shape it, make it look pretty. But like I said that's a great fly for trout up here in Alaska, Great Lakes, Steelhead. Just a fun, light, real easy to cast fly. And White Widow. Thanks for watching.